guys. So I have a haul today for you. Um, if you don't like hauls, then you don't have to watch it. You can just click out. Um, but yeah, right now Ulta is having a really, really, really good sale on, I think it's like NYX, Maybelline, uh, Alme, and a few other brands, and they're all 40% off. So I got the email. I, I don't even have the catalog yet. So I got an email about the deal going on, so I went the next day, as soon as I heard about it, and when I got there, um, the main reason I wanted to go was for the NYX Cosmetics, just because... There isn't really anywhere else I can buy NYX Cosmetics, and I really love NYX Cosmetics. And they usually have kind of a small range of, you know, different products, but they actually, uh, the one that I went to, because I normally go to a different one, this one actually had quite a few different things. A lot of things I've never seen or tried, because um, NYX has a lot of different new products out right now. They definitely have started to expand their line and there's a lot of cool stuff you can find from them right now. Um, but yeah, so a lot of the stuff had already been kind of shuffled through and that was kind of the sucky part. I wanted to get some of their blushes because I really love their blushes but there were none left. Like within one day I'm guessing as soon as anybody saw that they were 40% off they were already gone. But I did pick up quite a bit of stuff anyways so I'm gonna share that with you um, this is my giant bag of goodies um, so I'm just gonna start showing you all the stuff that I got just the main things get out of the way I need more cosmetic sponges because I love using these for my foundation and I love um, I think this is the Ulta brand the basically you brand I love the way that these feel because they're really soft they're not scratchy and yeah and um, we'll go into all of the stuff. Pretty much, actually, everything I got makeup wise is by NYX. So I picked up three of their palettes. I picked, sorry if that bag is annoying. I picked up three of their palettes the Sexy Blue Eyes palette, the, the Smoky Eyes palette, and the Beautiful Green Eyes palette. They also had another one. There's another one of these uh, in the collection, but they were all sold out of that one. So I only got these three. And on the side of the box, uh, just so I don't have to take them all out, but those are pretty much the colors that each of them come with. They're all really pretty. And then I got two pairs of eyelashes, which I might already have these, but you can never have enough eyelashes. Um, I got the 108s Breeze. They look like this. And the 101s Nirvana. Really dramatic and thick. And then I got four of their sparkling glitter powders. And they look like this. I don't know if I could... Let's see, I got the Glam Gold, which is just pretty much a gold glitter. And then I got Cool Blue, which is a dark blue glitter. And Platinum, which is just pretty much what the name says, like a platinum silver. And Royal Purple, it's a deep violet purple. And glitter is really in right now, and a lot of different companies are coming out with glitter. And I thought they'd be really fun to use. So I got four of those. Oh, and then one thing I got that wasn't NYX. Um, I got the LA Splash Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Sealer Base. I think this is what you're supposed to use to help um, the glitter stick from the description um, on the LA Splash display that's what they said this was for but I will have to investigate that more and it's just the 13000 eyeshadow sealer base and it looks like that so yeah this was um 649 I don't think that was on sale and then I picked up three of their ultra pearl mania I guess they're pigments and I got three colors. I got um, 
Oro Pearl, which is this one, Turquoise Pearl, and Fanta Pearl. So they're kind of like a, they kind of have the look of metal. And I think that's why they call them the Pearl Manias. I don't know. They're not really pearly. They're more, they more have like a metal sheen to them to me. Especially this one. And I have that on my eyelid right now. And I picked up two lip liners. One in sand pink. Let's see if you can see the color. Sand pink. And I picked up uh, fuchsia. Because I thought it would be good to have a fuchsia lip liner. Um, oh, I actually picked up another sparkling glitter powder. And this one is in luxurious lavender and it has like blue purple and silver glitter all mixed together so I got five of those then I got two single eyeshadows one in the color purple and it's kind of like a violet with like a pearl sheen to it looks like and then I got the color wildfire wildfire and it looks like this and I also have that on my outer corner of my eye and then I picked up their high definition um, eyeshadow base and I use this today as well and it's pretty similar to the Urban Decay Primer Potion it's pretty much like the same consistency and looks the same feels the same maybe even a little creamier maybe a little bit better so I really liked that and that was $4.19 on sale and I picked up one blush because this was the only one that they had um, and it's in the color sand and it's just pretty much like a bronze color I thought it'd be good more as like a bronzer for like the summertime more than a blush and I picked up two lipsticks, one in the color Frosted Flakes, and it looks like this, and I'm wearing that on my lips right now. It's really pretty. It's kind of like a champagne-y nude color. And then I also picked up the color um, Frappuccino, which is there. And it looks like this. It's kind of like a deep, kind of nude rose color. And these were pretty much the only two lipsticks that I could find that were kind of my taste that weren't already messed up and fished through because people had already gone through them. And you know when you you have make sure you check the lipsticks because they don't have a seal on them, so you can open them and people open them and mess them up and mush them and put them on their lips and yeah, that's just gross. So. These were two of the lipsticks that I found that hadn't already been fished through. And then last NYX product I got is their Eyebrow Shaper. And it's just like a wax pencil. And I used that today too. So far, I like it. I think it holds my eyebrows. It doesn't make your eyebrows feel crusty like some um, of the eye setting eyebrow gels do. So I like that. And then one thing I was really excited, this was the last thing that I bought, um, I found the Real Techniques um, eye brushes that are by um, the, one of the Pixie Woo sisters here on YouTube. Her name is Samantha Chapman. And if you don't know who she is, that's a picture of her. And it comes with a powder brush, foundation brush, and then a fluffy maybe eyeshadow or maybe concealer brush. Um, it says it's a shadow brush, but I really like these. I opened them and felt them. They're really soft, and I'm really excited to try these out, and maybe I'll have a review on them in the future. So that was everything that I got at um, Ulta. So pretty much everything I got was NYX because they were all 40% off, so I couldn't pass that up because um, not that NYX is expensive, but... For 40% off, it's a really good deal. So if you if you have an Ulta near you, or you can also shop online. So check out Ulta if you're looking for any products like that. 
And then I also went to Walmart and I picked up the Secret Cover Concealer by Milani. And this is the packaging, but this is the container. And it's just like a cream stick. But I tried this today and I don't like it. I don't feel like it has enough coverage. So I'm going to be returning this because I don't like it. So that's going back in the box and back to Walmart. And then I picked up a nail polish because I have heard of this color before and I really wanted to try it out. It's Essie's um, Turks and Caicos. And it's just a really pretty like turquoise color. Great for springtime or not really just springtime because you can wear whatever color or I wear whatever color nail polish I want anytime no matter what season it is. So I'm going to try that out soon. And then while I was looking through the makeup aisle, I found this really cute or like kind of unique um, organizer. I think e.l.f. makes one similar to this, but this one is just plain. It doesn't have anything written on it. And it says it's a countertop beauty organizer. So it has three slots. And I'm going to probably put some of those beads in there. And I'm going to put my makeup brushes in here. So I think this was only like 6 or $7. So... That was a good find. And this was in the makeup section, not within any of the other organizational aisles. So I think that was everything that I've bought recently. If you guys have any questions on any of the products that I've showed or you'd want to see a tutorial or review on anything, leave me a comment below. I'll let you know what I think of them as I try them and as I go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.